Okay, welcome to the answer walkthrough video for column method multiplication level four. So here are your quick answers. So number one is 286, number two is 529, number three is 168, number four, 462, the answer to number five is 154, and the answer to number six is 372. So if you've got all those right, well done, you can move on to level five. Um, if not, keep watching and I'm gonna go through each one of those practice questions in turn, just so you can see where you've made a mistake. Okay, so you've kept watching, so I'm assuming you just want me to go through these in depth, so let's do it. So question one then, 22 times 13. So we set these up in our columns, just like we did do with column method subtraction and addition. Okay, and then if we remember, the pattern that we need to start with is we start with the three in the units column on the number underneath. So three times two becomes six. Three times two again, because then the pattern, so you multiply upwards and then multiply across. So we're going to do three times two, then we're going to do three times two again, so that becomes a six. Then we're going to add a zero, because then because we're actually multiplying that ten there, but we're going to think of it as a one. One times two is two, and then I multiply upwards, one times one is two, and then we're going to add these two together. So our six add nothing becomes six, six add two is eight, and then two on its own, two add nothing, just becomes two. So the answer to number one is 286. And then the best thing with these, again, is just practice, practice, practice. And then you'll you'll learn that algorithm, that process, that pattern off by heart. And these won't cause you any bother whatsoever. Okay, next one, number two, 23 times 23. So let's set these up in terms of place value again. Okay, three times three becomes nine, multiplying upwards and then across. Three times two, this is the across bit, becomes six. Add your zero, because we're then moving on to the 10 element. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, okay, and then we're going to add these two together. So 9 adds 0 becomes a 9, and this is where we have a carry. 6 adds 6 becomes 12, carry the 1, okay, like from column method so addition. And if that's just a bit rusty, you can go ahead and watch that playlist. And the last one becomes 4, add 1, which is 5. Okay, so that's where we get answer for number two from, 529. Question three, 14 times 12. Okay, so two times four is eight. Two times one becomes two. Add your zero, okay. One times four is four. One times one is one. And then we add these two together. So eight add nothing is eight. Two add four is six. And then we have a one left over there, which gives me an answer of 168. And then lastly, number four, well, this is out of six, or so number four, so 42 multiplied by 11. Could be argued you might not need column method multiplication for this, but if you are, this is how you do it. One times two is two, one times four is four. Add your zero, because we're moving on to the 10 part. One times one is two, one times four is four. And then we add in these two together. So two add nothing is two, four add two becomes six. And then we've got a four on our own, on its own. So that becomes 462. And then lastly, let's have a look at questions five and six. So we've got 11 times 14. So set up our columns in terms of place value, just like any other column method we've been using. So multiplying upwards and then across, starting with the four. So four times one is four. Four times one is four again. Add your zero. One times one is one. Multiplying across from that side. Then we're going to multiply upwards. And then one times one becomes a one. Add those two together becomes four. Four add one is five, and that's one. So that gives me an answer of 154. And then question six, 12 multiplied by 31. Uh, I don't need to write it out again. I just have to now, because I've just started it. Right, so 12 times 31. Again, using exactly the same pattern. The pattern never changes. One times two is two. One times one is one. Add your zero, because we're moving on to the tens part. Three times, th three times two is six. Three times one is three. And then we're going to add those two together. So two add nothing is two. One add six is seven. And then three add nothing. Uh, and if you remember from column method, some addition playlist, you can put a zero there if you want. So zero add three becomes three, which gives me my answer of 372. So hopefully from there, you've seen where you have made um, a little mistake. Um, if you have, brilliant, well done. Part, of, part and parcel of kind of getting better at maths is just kind of reviewing where you've made your mistakes and working on from there. So well done. I'll see you in level five. Or if that's helped you, thanks for watching a video brought to you by Maths From Scratch. Bye.